from NBC News, this is Today. Millions of Americans are struggling to find work, a fact that isn't lost on college students preparing to begin their careers. So what can recent college graduates and kids who are still in school do to improve their uh, employment odds? Kat Cohen is the CEO and founder of Ivy Wise. Kat, good morning to you. Good, good to see you. Good morning. This is an important topic because I think graduates and their parents say they look around, they see the unemployment rate is 8-6%, and they think there's no chance. Is that true? Well, those numbers are scary, but the good news is the unemployment rate for college graduates is only 4.4%. So you're twice as likely to be employed if you have a college degree. And I tell students, though, a job isn't going to just fall into your lap. The students have to work for this. They have to be proactive, they have to network, and they have to utilize their resources. And colleges are doing a lot to help students with that job placement. So it's important when a student gets to their college to find out what the internship opportunities are and what the career service resources are available to them. Right, because when you graduate, I think uh, employers are, in some cases, looking for work experience, and a new graduate might say, I don't have much work experience, I just got out of school. So what's your advice to them? Well, colleges are actually doing a lot to prepare students, so they're not only counseling them on which career path they should choose, but they're also providing resources and guidance on everything from resumes to cover letters to interview etiquette, and they're also exposing their students to various industries. They're helping with internship placement. They might be hosting career expos on their campus. Um, they're inviting professionals to come speak. They're pairing students with alumni. So, for example, Barnard actually has a program called MAPS, and it's matching alumni to partner with students. And this is great because an alumna will actually mentor a student. Mm. And they have this program, Take a Barnard Student to Work. Um, and what's also great about Barnard is you can borrow a suit from their suitable suits <laughs> closet for your interview. That's a great program. And the, 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 the importance of networking and internships cannot be overstated in this case. Let's talk about job sectors and salaries and where some of the hotspots are right now for jobs. Right. Well, according to the National Association of Colleges and Employers, their January 2012 salary survey, um, they're reporting that the top industries for job placement are hospitals, elementary and secondary schools, justice, retail, computer systems design, and actually the highest salaries are going to graduates in computer science, engineering, business, and health sciences. And um, in terms of colleges, actually, the highest starting salaries are coming from MIT, Caltech, Loma Linda, Malloy, and Harvey Mudd. And those actually start at anywhere between $64,000 and $70,000 for a starting median salary from those schools. And that's, that's really high. That's a lot of money. And even you say the average salary overall is actually up year over year. It is. Actually, they're reporting, uh, NACE is reporting that um, for the class of 2011 graduates, their starting salary is up to $41,701, which is up 2.3% from the class of 2000. Mm -hmm. So what do you say to those who say, all right, MIT, I'm not going to go to MIT. In fact, I might not go to an Ivy League school at all. Am I going to make anywhere close to that kind of money? Well, you don't have to go to an Ivy League school, as we've just seen from the top salaries list, none of which are Ivies, um, to make an impact. You know, even though, you know, a selective school might catch an employer's eye, that's not going to be the deal maker. And we tell students, you know, college is what you make of it. You've got to make an impact while you're there. You want to network with your peers and your professors, take advantage of academic and research opportunities, get involved in organizations and in the local community, because ultimately employers are going to be looking for how you've made that impact while you're there. And they're also going to be looking for things that are what, what, what I call soft factors. So your work ethic, mm -hmm. your communication skills, how well you collaborate with others, problem solving and, and critical thinking skills. And those you can get at any college. So that's, you know, you, you should really cast your net wide. And you make the point too, if you're afraid of taking on a lot of debt to go to school, it might actually pay off in the long run. It does. I mean, the graduates are coming out of school with an average of $25,000 in debt. But I, you know, I tell these students, look, you need to think about this in terms of long-term payoff because college is an investment that will pay off for the rest of your life. The College Board um, reports that people with a four-year college degree will actually make a million dollars more over the course of their lifetime than those with just a high school diploma. So I always say, the more you learn, the more you earn. A uh, number like that will get people's attention. Kat, great stuff. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. Thank you so much. Kat Cohen.